body. And when we talk about Brazil and Africa, the names of dances that we are reminded of are Samba, Zumba, Foro, Bumba Mewui, etc. And all these forms have Afro-Brazilian origins which are influenced by indigenous culture. They are based more on strict choreography than individual improvisation. Let us witness the African-Brazilian dance known for its vibrant...
फागुने मोहन मन मतान महुआए रंगिनी बिहुर नेशा को नए चार विद्यार्थी जो कि अलग अलग देशों से शिक्षा प्राप्त करके आए हैं एक लंबे अंतराल के बाद फिर से मिल रहे हैं तथा अपने अनुभवों को आपस में बांट रहे हैं अरे जानते हो मित्रों मैं तो जापान की शिक्षा पद्धति से बहुत प्रभावित हूँ अच्छा ऐसा क्या है वहाँ पर जरा हमें भी तो बताओ जापान की शिक्षा पद्धति में तो शिक्षा शिक्षक और विद्यार्थी तीनों के स्वरूप ही निराले हैं। स्वच्छता समय और अनुशासन की तो बात ही अलग है जापान के विद्यालयों में यदि छात्र कक्षा में समय से नहीं पहुंच पाता है तो उसे समय से न पहुंचने के लिए दंड स्वरूप विद्यालय की स्वच्छता का कार्य दिया जाता है और यदि विद्यार्थी पुनः देरी से आता है तो लगातार एक सप्ताह तक विद्यालय को स्वच्छ करना होता है इस प्रकार वह दंड स्वरूप भी स्वच्छता और अनुशासन की शिक्षा प्राप्त करता है अरे पता है शिक्षा के साथ साथ जर्मनी में तो खेलों को भी समान महत्व दिया जाता है वहाँ की शिक्षा पद्धति भारत की शिक्षा पद्धति के समान ही सर्वांगीण विकास पर बल देती है लेकिन वहाँ पर अपेक्षाकृत खेलों पर अधिक जोर दिया जाता है जिससे कि छात्रों का शारीरिक एवं मानसिक स्वास्थ्य अच्छा रह सके और यही छात्र आगे जाकर अंतर्राष्ट्रीय पटल पर अनेकों पदक बटोरते रहे अरे वाह दोस्तों मेरा अनुभव तुमसे थोड़ा अलग है अमेरिका की शिक्षा पद्धति विश्व की सर्वोत्तम शिक्षा पद्धति में से एक है मैंने तो वहाँ से प्राप्त स्कॉलरशिप में ही अमेरिका जाकर शिक्षा ग्रहण की है अमेरिका में शिक्षा के व्यवहारिक स्वरूप को सैद्धांतिक स्वरूप से अधिक महत्व दिया जाता है यहाँ छात्रों को अपने विषय को चुनने की स्वतंत्रता है व्यावसायिक विषयों के चयन की व्यवस्था भी है यातायात से लेकर तकनीकी से संबंधित सभी व्यवस्थाओं तक अमेरिका अग्रणी है अरे वाह भाई 
बहुत बढ़िया लेकिन हमारे भारत का क्या ही कहना चाहे कितनी भी बातें कर लो पर हमारे भारत की तो बात ही कुछ निराली है हाँ हाँ हमारी प्राचीन शिक्षा पद्धति विश्व के लिए सदैव मार्ग प्रशस्त करती रही है आश्रम व्यवस्था गुरुकुल पद्धति गुरु शिष्य परंपरा के इस देश में गुरु का महत्व देखते ही बनता है क्यों? अभी तक तू पढ़ने नहीं बैठा जब देखो तब बस खेलते हुए नजर आता है बस जा ही रहा हूँ पापा अरे बेटा अब रहने भी दे क्यों सारा दिन मेरे लाडले के पीछे ही पड़ा रहता है आप तो शांति रहिए माँ आप ही के लाड प्यार से ये इतना बिगड़ गया है आजकल इन्हें स्कूल की पढ़ाई के भरोसे भी नहीं छोड़ा जा सकता तुम जरा इधर आओ इधर आओ सुनाई नहीं दे रहा क्या हाँ बोलिए यही सीख कर आते हो तुम अपने स्कूल से यही सिखाती है तुम्हारे टीचर नहीं पापा हमारे टीचर ने तो हमें हमेशा ही बड़ों का आदर करना सिखाया है इतना मुँह चलाते हो यही सीखते हो तुम मैं कल ही स्कूल आता हूँ इतनी मोटी मोटी फीस देता हूँ तब भी तुम यही सब सीख रहे हो नहीं पापा स्कूल में तो हमें अलग अलग विषयों के साथ मॉरल वैल्यूज भी बताई जाती है ये सब तो हमें स्कूल में नहीं सिखाया जाता यहाँ यह विचारणीय है कि विद्यार्थियों में संस्कारों की कमी क्यों है छात्रों में अनुशासन कर्तव्य परायण एवं सामाजिक मूल्यों के जागरूकता अत्यंत आवश्यक है इस महत्वपूर्ण जिम्मेदारी को निभाने में न केवल शिक्षकों की भूमिका महत्वपूर्ण है वरण आप अभिभावकों की भी भूमिका उतनी ही अनिवार्य है यहाँ भिन्न भिन्न शिक्षा प्रणालियों में हमने यही सीखा है कि अपनी वर्तमान शिक्षा प्रणाली में हमें और भी सुधार करने की आवश्यकता है एक शिक्षक तथा अभिभावक विद्यार्थी को जीवन की हर संभावित संभावनाओं से अवगत कराता है तथा एक मार्गदर्शक की भूमिका भी निभाता है बुद्धि और आचरण के इस विकास क्रम में यह विद्यार्थी के ऊपर भी निर्भर करता है कि वह क्या चयनित करता है तो आइए आप सभी को हम ले चलते हैं एक मनोरंजन की दुनिया में दोगे तो बनोगे खराब Anthony XYZ Hey my 
कक्षा में नया हूँ एंथोनी एक्स वाई से बुद्धि है खाली बस भी खाली बातें हैं इसकी बस मस्ती वाली जिस मेरी याद है मुँह उठाए चलाए जिस मेरी याद है मुँह उठाए चलाए रूप महल प्रेम गली खोली नंबर चार सौ बीस एक्सक्यूज मी प्लीज ये जीवन है सुंदर सुबह न कि अंधेरी राते राज की बात कह दू तो जान महफिल में फिर क्या हो राज की बात कह दू तो जान महफिल में फिर क्या हो खेल कूदो खेल कूदो पढ़ाई को मगर तुम कम नहीं या को बना दो शौक को जुनू फिर अंजाम तो देखो पसंद और शिक्षा का बड़ा ही साथ है गहरा पसंद में शिक्षा और प्रशिक्षण मिल जाए तो हल हो जाए है चिंता खो लगन में हो मगन से फिर लक्ष्य बड़ा तुम सोचो 
knowledge without application is just simply a knowledge. Applying the knowledge to one's life is wisdom. And that is the ultimate virtue. Saint Chak once truly said that wisdom and purity should actually be like spiritual food. Food for natural growth. I now request our Honourable Chief Guest, Honourable Justice, Mr. Amrishwar Pratap Sahi, to please step on the stage and shower upon us your words of wisdom. Provincial mother, all provincials, principal of the institution, dear parents, children, ladies and gentlemen. When Swami Vivekananda stood to address the Congress of Religions at Chicago, he quoted the Shrutis and he said, Durlabham Traime Vaitata Devanugrahi Tukam Manushyattam Muhushitvam Mahapurusham Sanskaya. There are three things in life which are very rare and they are ordained only by the grace of the Almighty. The first is the life of a human being. The second is moksha, quite near to salvation. But the third and most important is Mahapurusham Sanushraya, the company of great people. I am really honored today to be in the company of such great people. And I thank everybody for having invited me at this annual function. What a vibrant and promising atmosphere after the COVID. The pandemic had virtually depressed us and has given us a lesson in life. Keep fighting and believe in the Almighty and you will succeed. The vibrance of the children right from the KG up to the last performance on education reminds me of the process of learning, unlearning and relearning. Education has taken strides all the world over. But India remains the pioneer in all its educational efforts. And I am reminded of the former President of the United States, George Bush Jr., who way back during his tenure acknowledged on a world platform that the best of brains come from India. Congratulations, Mount Carmel School. You are also contributing to the best of brains. But at the same time, you are also contributing to human values and humanity. Educational institutions are not meant only for imparting lessons, but they are factories of the Almighty's best creation the human being. You are producing human beings, the real humans who will spread the light as one of the announcers said, light comes from within. It is said that sunlight is the best disinfectant. But knowledge and experience is the light from within. There is one thing, students, which I would like to tell you that mere acquisition of knowledge will not take you far. And it is said that knowledge is power. But in the experience of life, I have seen that the clarity of knowledge is power. If your knowledge is clear, incisive and precise, there is no goal 
that you cannot achieve. Achievements in life come through effort. And do you know what luck means? Luck means when you seize an opportunity and put in your effort, you, the, you get the result what is known as luck. Without effort and without seizing the opportunity, luck and fate do not help in this world. We are in a manifestation of material world. Money is not everything. But one thing is for sure, money does make you happy for some time. Money helps you in living yourself. But please keep in mind, desires have to be shunned. The more the desires, the more the miseries. Knowledge will help you to curtail these desires. One French philosopher Descartes said, the philosophy of life lies in two words, what to sustain and what to abstain from. It is this which you will get in this institution or in any institution that you are studying. I know that performances on the stage at times do not bring about rewards, but it is the effort which you have made today is not only promising, but a promising future. The way you have represented every way of life and the way you have explained nature is really astonishing. I am reminded of a very near colleague who has a substantial resources was hospitalized during the pandemic. When he was discharged from hospital, he was given a bill which he was reading very intently. The doctor came and said, Sir, you can afford it. Why are you reading it so carefully? He said, I am reading it carefully because I find in this bill that the expenses of oxygen for seven days is 70,000. I was just imagining how much oxygen have I consumed since I was born till today. It does not even match a fraction of the wealth that I have earned throughout my life. The more you preserve nature, the more oxygen you have. It is your duty and you have explained it well that the protection of environment is going to be our next challenge in this world. Well, students, when you progress in life, after a little achievement, you start thinking that you have made much. But these achievements, material achievements, are not your real achievements. It is the moral science class which was referred to by the performers, where you get human values imbibed and imbued in you, are the real achievements of life. Material achievements will help you to survive. But values will live long as footprints for generations to come. This achievement which you get in school should not be forgotten. You have many things to achieve and many struggles to fight. I was addressing a gathering of judges from Bangladesh who came to training for our in our academy and I asked them that Ukraine and Russia are at war. Many Ukrainians have fled their country and millions of them are residing in Europe and elsewhere. What happens 
if our countries are at war, where will Bangladeshis and Indians go? Will they go to the Arabian Sea or to the Indian Ocean? So to avoid any such calamity, it is better to be friends and protect each other rather than be at war. You have to inculcate this in your minds that you live in this world for peace. Your minds, your intellect, your IQ are the best possessions that you have. And look at this, that each one of us is trying to persuade everyone that what he is saying is correct. We say in our judicial system that a judgment is final only when it is correct and not otherwise. We keep on correcting ourselves and so should you in your daily lives. I think the way you have prepared your program on this annual day is reflective of your achievements in this institution. And uh, thanks to all the teachers, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Satasmai Guru Devo Nama. So this is all the work of teachers. Thank you teachers for having organized your children in this beautiful fashion who presented some of the best programs ranging from uh, the west to the east, from north through the south and making this wonderful institution a heavenly place. May God bless all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much sir for your valuable words. Our Reverend Provincial Superior, Mother Pavitra, to present this memento as a token of our love. Thank you, sir. Thank you, mother. Thank you, sister. Okay. Report of accomplishments from Mount Carmel School. Gumara, we have my Asadak Fell, Alfred Bernard Nobel was a Swedish chemist, engineer, inventor, businessman and philanthropist. He was best known for having bequeathed his fortune to establish the Nobel Prize. Nobel's most famous invention was a dynamite, a safer and easier means of harnessing the explosive power of nitroglycerin. Here we have Emmett Sass, the Alfred Bernard Nobel, the inventor of the dynamite. Welcome in! This is your RJ Agnes. And this is your RJ Alice. From the show, Hear My Voice Sweden. Fine day, I take you down to know the literary flow and culture dream from India. Today, I have in store a very reputed school back from India, the Mount Carmel School. The tale thus goes, culture and trend in the shows, baby king and queen shine in the shrine, dots from Casey with the talents in the night. Hear my voice, Sweden, your popular show with the glaze of literary light before the night. Baby King and Queen is a competition held at Mount Carmel School every year for the tiny dots that brings the adorable kids in their attire to forget the satire. Yes, hear my voice, Sweden, Rabindranath Tagore Yuva Pratibha Coach. This is a Hindi speech competition in which Mount Carmel School 
participated in 2019. The students here participate with great zeal to showcase their talent as the event being talent search. Alice goes with a jingle. Talent in the town. Tough is the sound. Speech and the crowd. Desire shown captured in the drone. Ozo Day is observed on 16 September every year. Mount Carmel School celebrates this Ozone Day to make the children responsible. Hmm, that's quite innovative. Save Ozone, save life. Well, Nagara St. Joseph College School conducts various events to render exposure to the students. Well, of course, Mount Carmel every year tucks the feathers of victory in the honor hat. Well, hear my voice, Sweden. Agnes with the jingle. Sing along with the breeze. Peep into the bee. Explore and see is no before you speak. Swatch Bharat Abhyan Pagvara 2020-21-22 My dear folks, Mount Carmel School takes part in the implementation of cleanliness drive and initiated by the government of Madhya Pradesh. Curious cronies, NCC cadets of Mount Carmel School took an initiative to promote the usage of Indian products in the nation. Jingle with Alice. Light the candle near the mantle. Every flame glows with the dazzle. The more you sow, the more you grow. Make every step tap with the toe. ASISC Regional and National Level. ASISC is the association of ICSC and ISC schools which had conducted literary events back in the year 2019 and then again in 2022 bringing laurels to ICSC and ISC schools. Continuing, there was declamation competition held at regional level in the year 2021. Declamation competition held regional level this year brought laurels. These first prize winners were qualified for the national level competition at Lucknow. None other but the national level. Yes. Kushi Pandey backed first prize in the creative writing, making Mount Carmel School proud. There was Advika Diolika, who won first prize in the solo dance and group dance in the national level dance competition conducted by Ritya Dham. What a nostalgia and a triumphant tiger to be a part of this activity hub. Second prize was won in the basketball competition. CISCE regional level under 17 girls which was held at Billabong. Well, this doesn't end here. Let's talk about health being the wealth. Mount Carmel from India is keen to maintain the physical strength and health of the students, enforcing the need of vaccination post-pandemic. Your, Your popular show, Hear My Voice Sweden. Hats off for the hub, hustling hues of active club, wishes in the air, dishes of delicacies served with desire, garnered continually. As Corella, love you all. This is your RJ Agnes. And this is your RJ Alice. Signing off. India developing and ushering to technological advancement according to TV the UNESCO science report from 2021 India now spends more on research than France the UK and Italy the country has the highest number of real-time digital payments globally and has left China and advanced countries far behind Let's take a journey to Meghalaya, the report from RJ Kubile, India, Rita and Shambor. Come on, Shambor from your show, Kubile, India. And how with me is Rita, come on. Yes, this is your Shambor and Rita updating you with the technological advancement.
Indian all over India. Shankar sings the techno tone. Hashtag an Insta in the drum. Digital right towards every zone. The tongue of teenagers will grow. Yes, dear technocrat, where we will drop into the temple of learning. Man Kamal School. This is your Rita updating with the media club in Mount Kamal School. Exploring and empowering kids with media and digitalization. Club focuses on boosting up the seal of the young scholars. Studio for recording and digital support. Set up with the graded technology. YouTube channel has been installed just to render the students the avenue of utmost learning. The screen is blinking blue and green. Web opens the bright light of the sea. Clear and clean entry for the magical dream. You want me in the wonderland with the team. This is your show, Kabele India. Your adorable RJ Shanbar and Rita. Mankama School participates in Sanskar Rally Tech Fest every year. This brings to light the talented thoughts of Mount Carmel School in every domain. This is indeed an accomplishment story, my dear Meghalaya. Tech competition and web designing competitions are the other two attractions conducted by DPS. And these Mount Carmelites bagged the prizes. Exploring to express digitally in the flight of hard work and dedication. Webinar on Kelo India. Mount Carmel participated in this national fitness program for children valuing the significance of games and sports. Digital platform paved the way to keep in touch with the latest advancement. Yes, Rita, pandemic was a terrible time for the people of the world. Digitalization garnered the people to pull through the fettle. Mount Carmel School waved the strong garland of courage by being in unison. Isn't technology a boon in this regard? Exactly, Shanbar. I even heard the short film shot at Mount Camel School titled Anoka Tyohar. Visual sharp shining stars. A level ahead beyond the Mars. The figment soars. Christmas sparks. The Yule and movie with golden marks. Even teachers were trained and a competition was conducted to foster them. They were to contribute one value-oriented video. It went on for one year and the messages given through the videos were mesmerizing. All virtues on the show. Teachers were rewarded for their exceptional contributions. Virtual values with the effect of love. Digital dawn with its shaft above. Learn the new life with the techno glow. Blow the air of talents in the grove. In addition to the smart boards in every class for digital aid. Exceptional studies modules to enable the children to learn with more efficiency. In tap through campus care. Smart ways for smart pupils. Soft and wear on the brand apples. Ease the rounds and eye on all angles. Up and down, any issue untangles. RJ Rita and RJ Shanbar signing off. with the confluence of all the culture and tradition. We take you all on an international jaunt. 
in our era of global interconnectedness, the assertion of cultural identity can only be envisioned based on mutual respect and the acceptance of diversity. A culture can only realize itself and reach a state of maturity if it can relate to other cultures in diverse and a comprehensive and interactive sense. The strength of a people or nation indeed depends on the ability to interact with other communities in a complex, multi-dimensional manner. Something that also includes the capacity to see oneself through the eyes of the other. Let us move to Russia to explore the tradition. Here we go! the second and greatest of Israel's kings, who ruled the country 3,000 years ago, was about 70 years old at the end of his reign. His life and reign are a testimony to God's greatness and his hand upon him, which translated into a mighty kingdom and a golden rule. We present to you the powerful historical rise of a poor shepherd boy to the greatest king of noteworthy empire. How, you ask? Well, let's see. Boys, where are my boys? Here we are, father. What happened? Oh, so good to see you. My boys, guess what? What? I hear Samuel, the prophet, is coming to our house to pick one of you to be the next king of Israel. Oh, I love to be the king. I wonder when the prophet Samuel will get here and who he will pick. 
Samuel. Samuel. Sam. I'm here. Hey, Lord. Saul, king of Israel, has been unfaithful and gone his own way. I refuse to let him be king any longer. Lord, I'll admit Saul has his faults, but who doesn't? Samuel, it's what's in a person's heart that matters most to me. And Saul's heart is full of sin and pride and selfishness. Bethlehem, Jesse's house. I want you to go there and look over his sons for me. And I'll tell you which one has a heart like mine. Who is it? Samuel, the prophet, has come to choose a new king from among your sons. Welcome, prophet. Quite honored to be the father of the next king. Well, yes. Where are your sons? Elia, my oldest son, come here and meet God's prophet, Samuel. Yeah, I'm very pleased to meet you, Samuel. I've just returned from taking care of a few Philistines. Now I can see why you sent me here. Elia looks like him. Samuel, do not look on his appearance, the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord does not see as mortals see, but the Lord looks on the heart. Have any more sons, Jess? Why, yes, I do. Abinadab, you're next. Here's my son, Shaman. Surely, his heart is what God is looking for. Have any more sons? Samuel, do I even need to say it? Oh, Jess, the Lord would like to know if you have any other sons. Well, yes, but he's not really king material. He's just my youngest boy, David. Send for him immediately. David, someone get that kid, probably standing in his field. His skin is so tanned from being outside. Must be a hard worker. Never been in a battle. But his eyes do sparkle. Must be the fire in his soul. What do you think, God? Well, don't just stand there, Samuel. This is the one. David, the Lord has spoken to me about you. He has instructed me to anoint you as his choice to be the next king of his people, Israel. My job here is done. Finally, our people will have a king whose heart is like God. Israel, led by King Saul, is at war with the Philistines. The Hebrews are shaking in their tunics. Oh no, there he goes again. All night long, all day. The guy doesn't sleep. They're going to sit there like the weak man. And if they do have the guts to send someone to me, I'm gonna crush his head like a melon and feed his flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the ground. Oi, great. The birds of the air again. Say something different, you Philistine. Yeah, that ought to keep him quiet. So, what did Saul say? The king said, go, and the Lord be with you. What? The king said, go, and I heard what you said. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, I had forgotten. My little weak king kid brother, who's the next king of his tribe, makes perfect sense to me. Come on, you guys. A kid? Who has spent his entire life talking to sheep and playing the harp? The king of all Israelites? The one who leads them into battle? Perfect! I don't know why you think I'm so incompetent. He never said that. You take every opportunity to tell me how worthless I am. I don't think you are useless, David. I just 
Don't think you are very good at doing stuff. That's all. Come out. Come out wherever you are. I know you scared weaklings are nearby. I can smell you. I can smell the stink of fear, you cowards. Good luck with that. You are going to need it. I don't need luck. I've got the living God on my side. Where's your armor? He refused it. Refused? It didn't feel comfortable. It's not supposed to feel comfortable. It's armor. That's not the way I do battle. Have you ever battled a nine-foot Philistine monster whose fist is bigger than your head, whose sword weighs more than a whole body? Ella, take it easy. I will not take it easy. Do you have any idea what that goal go? Goliath. Whatever will do to you. I am not afraid. Don't pay any attention to him. What have I ever done to him? We will worry about you. You worry about Goliath. I'll be okay, Dad. I'd just like to pray. And I want you to pray with me. Yeah, sure. I guess we can do that. Well, I am off. David, get back here. You left your sword. What has he got in his hand? A slingshot. A slingshot? David, you fool. Oh, this is too horrible. I can't look. Well, look what the miserable Hebrews have sent me. A boy? What's the matter? You run out of men? Go tell your king to send me someone with more meat on his bones. So at least I have a decent snack for my dogs. You come against me with sword, spear and javelin. But I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. The God of the armies of his day whom you have defied. Married Saul's daughter Michal and became a close friend of Saul's son Jonathan. An intense rivalry developed between the young new general and the king. Saul even began to plot to kill him. David had little choice but to flee to enemy territory. Saul chased David all over Israel trying to kill him. He was David's enemy, getting in the way of what God intended for David to do. But David wouldn't return hatred with hatred. Saul actually tried to kill him. Even so, when David had the chance to get rid of Saul, he wouldn't do it. He realized that to do anything to hurt Saul would be a sin against God. So, when Saul was killed in battle, David actually mourned for him. When King Saul of Israel sought to take David's life, David took refuge in the Judean wilderness. There he was joined by a ragtag group of about 400 men who were in distress or in debt or discontent. While staying a step ahead of Saul, David and this makeshift army provided protection for people in the region, including the shepherds of a wealthy rancher named Nabal. David and his men were hungry, but David knew that Nabal was nearby and sent a messenger to ask Nabal to return the favor of providing some food and provisions for him and his men. I am here to meet Nabal. Please wait. <coughs> Who are you? 
Greetings to Nabal. I'm a messenger, sir, from David. And um, we were nice to your shepherds a while back. Can we please have some food? No, I'm not sharing anything with this nobody, David, and his little band of outlaws. Now go away and tell that nobody run away to run on back home. Mistress, mistress, what happened? Something just happened. Some messengers from David came and asked for some provisions. But your husband was really mean to them and screamed insults at them. Oh really? A while back, David was really kind to our shepherds and even protected them. But now your husband has been so mean that I think something bad is going to happen. Please think of a way to fix this and save us all. Okay, I need some supplies. Miss Sharad, get me 200 loaves of bread, 5 sheep, a bushel of roasted grain. Hella, you get me 100 raisin cakes, 200 fig cakes and lots to drink. Load them all onto some donkeys as fast as you can and head out towards David. Move, move, move! Nabal said bunch of mean stuff about you to me. David was furious when he heard what Nabal had said. He was furious. He looked at his warriors and gave them a simple command. Get your swords! So David strapped on his sword and led 400 warriors to attack Nabal, while 200 men stayed behind to guard their camp. Abigail set out with her servants and the provisions loaded onto the donkeys. At the same time, David and his men were in hot pursuit of Nabal. Abigail met David before David arrived and quickly jumped off a donkey, bowed low to the ground and apologized to David for all the horrible things that her husband had said. She gave David the provisions and blessed him. David was very grateful and impressed with Abigail. Praise God who you sent to meet me today. Thank God for your good sense. You have kept me from carrying out vengeance. Go in peace. I will not kill your husband. Because Abigail decided to be part of the solution, David kept the peace. David up to be her leader of his people. David ascended to the throne when he was 30 years old. His reign lasted for 40 years. God was with David and so every battle he fought, he won. Before every battle, he would seek God's desire and instructions and would faithfully follow God's commands. David conquered Judah, Israel and Jerusalem to ascend the throne becoming King David, the most powerful and successful ruler in his time, uniting kingdoms to alliance and allegiance to fulfill God's prophecy and blessing.
all face the Goliath every day, no matter who we are. Goliath of fear, of rejection, failure, peer pressure, poor circumstances or challenges in the student or adult life. What is our weapon against this personal Goliath? Self-acceptance of who we are. We are all unique, created and blessed with the grace we need to accomplish the purpose of our being. You already have in you all that you need to be what you were called for. King Saul had the honor of being Israel's first king. But his life turned into a tragedy for just one reason. Saul did not trust in God. Saul's jealousy of David blinded Saul to what God had already given him. When we compare ourselves with others, we become confused. We want what they have instead of using what God has equipped us with for our own specific mission. Life with God has direction and purpose. Life without God is meaningless. As we have seen, Nabal embodied the negative qualities of foolishness and selfishness when he refuses to be grateful and just or even express kindness towards the needy David and his men when he could easily have helped. In contrast, Abigail, whose name means my father is joy, exhibited the peaceable characteristics of wisdom. In today's world, people lose their temper and go off on other people. Greedy, selfish, mocking people just go on social media sites and you'll see insults, arrogance and lack of kindness. We have a suicide problem among young people today because some have been so insulted and shamed on social media by bullies that they take their own lives. King David was a true hero. We learn through him the lessons of willingness to acknowledge one's mistakes, humility to recognize that we are weak, courage to step up in challenging situations, strong passion and love for God, strength to change ourselves for the better. Don't worry about what may others think. We too are to be instruments of God. Kindness. Kindness is a fruit of the Spirit. Even when others mistreat us, God will enable us to be kind through kind intervention. Freely we have received, now freely we must give. People are hurting and spiritually, emotionally, mentally crippled. They may be afraid to go to God, but God can restore people beyond our imagination. We must be proactive with our love. Be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shielded. I request our guest of honor, the most reverend Archbishop of Bhopal, His Grace Dr. Alangaram Alokya Sebastian de Rai Raj Eswiri, to please bestow upon us your valuable blessings by our words of wisdom, sir. Maniya Mukia Atiti Justice A.P. Sahiji Adaniya Provincial Mother Pavitra Principal Sister Archana Father Sisters Adaniya Abhibhavakon Teachers 
and my dear students phoenix phoenix ek amar pakshi hai jo apne purvarti ki raakh se uthkar naya jeevan prapt karta hai phoenix ko samapt nahi kar sakte hain usi prakar main samajhta hu mano ko ईश्वर ने बार बार नया जीवन देता रहता है और मानव को समाप्त करने के लिए कोरोना महामारी युद्ध प्राकृतिक आपदियाँ आपदाएँ मानवता को मिटाने के लिए प्रयास जरूर करेंगे लेकिन इंसान हर तरह की चुनौतियों से पार लेता है बाइबल में पहला ग्रंथ उत्पत्ति ग्रंथ में हम देखते हैं किस प्रकार कहानी बहुत है ईश्वर ने पृथ्वी समुद्र आकाश पेड़ पौधे पक्षी नाना प्रकार के जीव जंतुओं की सृष्टि की अंत में मनुष्य को अपना प्रतिरूप बनाया और हमें इतना प्यार करता है कि ईश्वर ने हमें बुद्धि शक्ति और सामर्थ्य बहुत दिए हैं और इस सुंदर दुनिया को ईश्वर ने हमें दिया है हम सब ईश्वर को दिन प्रतिदिन हम धन्यवाद देते रहेंगे और इस पृथ्वी हम सबका घर है इस धरती हम हमारा घर है इसे संभालना सुरक्षित रखना हमारा कर्तव्य है हमारे मुख्य अतिथि ने भी इस पर जोर दिया था तो अपनी शक्ति बुद्धि को सकारात्मक रूप से सदुपयोग करते हुए भाईचारा एकता समानता के लिए हम सब हम सब एकजुट होकर काम करेंगे हमारा महान इनक्रेडिबल इंडिया को आगे ले चलें सीएमसी सिस्टर्स शिक्षा क्षेत्र में कई गांव में शहर में शिक्षा क्षेत्र में बहुत विख्यात है जाने माने सिस्टर्स से माय सिस्टर्स आपको हार्दिक हार्दिक बधाई देता हूं और आपके साथ सभी टीचर्स कर्मचारी गण नॉन टीचिंग स्टाफ है उन सबको हार्दिक बधाई देता हूं इस सुंदर कार्यक्रम के लिए और माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस वंडरफुल प्रोग्राम फॉर योर मेलोडियस म्यूजिक सिंगिंग एंड दिस कलरफुल डांस Thank you thank you very much god bless you congratulations thank you so much sir for your precious words of blessings i request you sir to be with us on the stage for a few more moments i also request a reverend provincial superior mother pavitra and a respected principal sister ashna to please join us on the stage we thank you sir for your gracious presence to bestow upon us your blessings May I now request our Reverend Provincial Superior Mother Pavitra to present this memento to our President of our event, His Grace Dr. Archbishop Dr. Alangarun Alokya Sebastian Rai Raj Sviri as a token of our love. We seek your blessing, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, mother. Thank you, sister.
27 after the effort and sacrifices of unsung heroes of the nation. We have the providential love of God as our guide. When there is a ship at the sea and heads towards the port, nobody doubts. It is led by a pilot. Likewise, God guides the whole universe by his providential love. All the struggles will one day be thrown to crystal stairs by the grace of God. This freedom struggle be showcased by a Mount Carmelite in the form of shadow dance. Worship as a deity through God. India soared like an eagle and was called a golden bird. Its glory, its magnificence of colors, clothes, bazaars, and items are depicted in the poetry of Sarojini Naidu. In her famous poem, in the bazaars of Hyderabad, where she tells how our goldsmiths were able to design intricate and delicate designs of gold for pigeon's claw, king's wards, kabad, or even the girdle worn by the women. And in the poem of Toru Dutt, she says, that Indian culture and values have stood like a strong casarina tree which has been surrounded by jealousy, depicting climbers which has always looked forward to strangle its throat but never succeeded. Our Sanskriti, Vichar and our Vasudev Kutumbaka Mevishwas Sadiyo Purana and we are also in Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinah, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Ma Kaschit Dukhbhagbhave, Ka Ucharan Karte. Sari Vishw, Goshanti, Aur Bhai Chare Ka Paat Padhane Wale, Samrit, Aur Gaurav Shali Bharat Nehi, Vishw Ko Gyan Vigyan Sikhaya. Sabse Pahela Vishw Vidyale, Bharat Ki Hi Deh. Samrat Ashok Ne, Vishw Ko Shanti Ka Sandej Diya. Parantu, हम लोगों की ईर्ष्या का भी कारण है। India has been plundered and invaded several times, but always risen with greater grandeur. The initial plunders were rarely successful. However, we were defeated by the Mughals, who gradually took over us. India adopted them, and they gradually seeped into the mainstream of India. Our actual downfall started with the advent of Britishers, who in the garb of traders with their treaty became our rulers and exploited us. Thy ego opinion is chained down at last, and groveling in lowly dust art thou. Thy minstrel has no wreath to weave for thee, save the sad story of thy misery. जिसको न निज गौरव तथा निज देश का अभिमान है, वह नर नहीं, नर पशु निरा और मृतक के समान है। झुकना अपने हथियार डालना हम भारतीयों ने कभी नहीं दिया। जब भी दुनिया ने हमारा हनन करने की चेष्टा की है, हमने अपना वर्चस्व पुनः स्थापित किया है। जब अंग्रेजों का दमन हम पर बढ़ने लगा, तो रानी लक्ष्मी बाई और मंगल पांडे ने क्रांति की लौ जगाई, जो श्री दिनकर ने अपनी पंतियों में व्यक्त की है। ठीली करो धनुष की डोर, तरकस के कस खोलो। किसने कहा युद्ध की वेला चली गई, शांति से बोलो। किसने कहा मत बेदो हिदे वृद्धि के शर से, हरु भुवन का अंग कुमकुम से, कुसुम से, केसर से। गांधी जी के भारत छोड़ो आंदोलन और अहिंसा की नीति अंग्रेजों के दांत खट्टे कर दी। हमारे स्वतंत्रता संग्राम की कथा तो सर्वविदित है, छायांकन तो एक दुष्ट प्रयास मात्र है। Trust the laws with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him. He'll straighten your path. Awake, arise, and wait not till the target is achieved, is the saying of Swami Vivekananda. 
Our independence has given us a new awakening, an awakening to our dreams yet to be achieved. We, the people of India, still have that spark to rise up and develop ourselves. Even after all the slavery and temptatious times, we have that dignity to prove ourselves. India, our motherland, is on our toes putting on an attire of devotion and dedication to reach the golden path of progress. The jubilant journey is embellished by her desire to sparkle with the glow of success. Change is the need, as change demands updation, and this ardent acumen is portrayed through this mime act. dawned upon India and its people. The East India Company started dictating a regulating act of 1773. The freedom struggle of independence of India is known to masses and comes in an important chapter under the evolution of India as a free nation. Now we are going to witness some figures twirling, blowing and jumping in the dark. It was first done by Loy Fulio of America. It is known as the Radium Dance. 
The atrial is absolutely luminous, which flashes forth brilliantly by an exceedingly
primarily of only words. Gratitude can only be showcased by acts. Now, we've come to an end to this event. Phoenix Rise 23rd Annual Function. So now, may I request our school captain, Harsh Raghuvanshi, to propose a word of thanks. It has been such an honor to be a part of this wonderful event, Phoenix Rise. On behalf of all the students and staff, I am glad to be standing here to express my vote of thanks. I extend a heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest, Honorable Justice Mr. Amreshwar Pratap Sahi, former Chief Justice of Patna and Madras High Courts, Director, National Judicial Academy, Bhopal, who spared time from his busiest schedule to grace the occasion. Today, we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts and this will surely encourage us in our future events. Special thanks to our guest of honor, most reverend, His Grace, Dr. A. A. Sebastian Durai Raj SVD, Archbishop of Bhopal. It was a pleasure to have you with us. I extend my exuberant gratitude to our provincial superior, Mother Pavitra, and Vicar Provincial, Dr. Sister Noel, who showered their blessings upon us to make this event a success. It is my immense pleasure to express my unfeigned gratitude to our principal, dear sister Archana, who rendered this opportunity to come together. I would like to thank our vice principal, sister Lissy, treasurer and Hindi medium headmistress, sister Namita, Chavra block primary wing headmistress, sister Jasmine, and all the dignitaries for their care and support. Thank you, sisters. Our beloved teachers, I believe, have been the main elements to make this occasion a grandeur. You have always been generous, devoting your time whenever your students Thank need you, you, no matter what. Thank you, dear teachers. Sincere thanks to the heads of various departments who handled the event throughout. I would be failing my duty if I did not thank my fellow students who made this day possible. Thanks to all the participants who made this event a memorable one. How can I ever forget, dear parents, this event could not have been a success without your support and cooperation. My deepest gratitude to you for taking this event to the acme of success. Special thanks to the non-teaching and supporting staff for their cooperation. Once again, thank you everyone for being a part of this celebration. Thank you.